Are you ready? Okay. What's up? This is On The Scene with Carissa Des. I'm pretty fucking Leon, but you already knew that. Hey, what's up? It's DJ Coldoroy TGC. I'm That's in the right. building. That's right. Hey. And where are we at right now, Des? What's going on? Tell us what's uh, We're popping. at Late Lyrics, put on by Shrista, right. uh, here at Kelly's Olympian in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So, and you are, are you the DJ for the whole event? Yeah, I'm the okay. DJ. Uh, we've been doing it for a few years, so I've been doing it uh, since the beginning. So, okay. Nice. So that, did you, were you uh, like a founder, or were, did you get brought on as uh, like a, as a, you know, as like a DJ? But you know, what was yeah. what was the beginning process like? Uh, I wouldn't say I was a founder. Uh, Trista definitely was the founder, and she had an original DJ. Yeah. Uh, but he was kind of inconsistent, so then yeah. she brought me on. And then we kind of had built something together and like talked it through and like kind of yeah. wanted to go over a different model on how we wanted to do it. So right. okay. very cool. How has uh, late lyrics evolved over the years? Uh, it's it's a um, from when it first started, there was only a few people, you know, doing it. And then we have been blessed by a. The Portland Burger in the beginning. Oh, word. You Portland the Burger? The endorsement? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that still know. around, Portland Burger? Uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I haven't oh, been okay. there since. But, uh, <laughs> but then uh, the COVID had happened. So then oh. we had to stop late lyrics and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And then, so then it took a while to get back into it? or? Uh, no, nah, not really. Because we uh, brought it back a couple months ago. And it like... Mm-hmm. From, from right then back it, to, yeah, 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 right, right back to right. it. Yeah. Did anybody tell you ever that you look like Drake? <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the time. That, the same exact question. It. You're waiting for it's it. A, it's the same question every time. Right, that's honestly. what Tristan said. Like, you'll, you'll recognize me. You look like Drake. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's the dude. Yeah. You're like, well, I don't know. Oh, I was like, oh. It's him. Oh, yeah. no, Portland Drake. <laughs> yeah. So do people ever um, confuse you for him? Like when you're walking down the street, they're like, oh, my God, that's hey, yeah, the yeah. man right there. I, yeah. like, I, might, I might double take. <laughs> like, I mean, well, mostly like the kids, yeah. like a lot of kids and stuff, like they'll be like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> oh my God. like are you sure you're not Drake? Are you sure? And I'm like, are yeah. you sure? Yeah. No, I sure? it happened to me and Eugene actually had a show last Friday and I was in uh, I was in Target just like shopping for a toothbrush and some toothpaste. And these kids were like, in the aisle behind, you know, like when kids, like people try to like act cool, but like, you know, like, yeah. they were yelling, they're like, who is he for? And I, 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 was, I was like, bro, what? You don't know. Nah. Like, I was like, I'm 6'4, bro. That nigga's like 5'4. Right, you're like, that's crazy. Like, Are you sure you're not little? I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty fucking sure. I had that nigga once. He was like half my size. Right. Like, yeah, I was that's like, crazy. No, that's, that's I don't know if I part. see it, but. Terrifying. Like, yeah, like, I guess it's sure? just, just the hair, right? Yeah, it's it's just, just, just the, the hair. hair. It's like a black person that like looks Man. like alternative. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you've been in the music scene in Portland for a while now, right? Yep. So, um, how, other than um, just late lyrics, how else do you feel like it's evolved over the years? From, uh, from your like the music scene? Yeah. Uh, the music scene evolved because I feel like people are getting more like they just like want to support more and yeah. like uh, and then more venues want to like work with us more because mm-hmm. back uh, like a, couple, a few years ago, like they yeah. were in like booking hip hop shows and stuff and mm-hmm. doing stuff like that. So it's yeah. kind of evolving that way. And like the mm-hmm. fans and like um, the quality of music that people are putting out mm-hmm. and like uh, their marketing, like mm-hmm. I think that was a big thing was the marketing in the in Portland. So. Yeah. It's so grown. it's gotten better? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot okay. of hustlers out here, that's for sure. There's one thing that yeah. you see in the scene is people who be pushing their agendas and their venue, you know, their their events and stuff like like no Man. other. Like, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, God, dude. Yeah. Like, like, every yeah. day, just both, both, you know, so. Man. <laughs> I'm like, good, good for you, bro. Good for you. Get your name out there. Get your shit done. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's, your bread. yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, honestly, I've, I've always gone to shows. I've always been very into music. But when it comes to the Portland music scene, I've only been out here for a couple of years now. I've only been outside for a couple of years. So I don't really know how it was, you know, even five years ago. That's crazy, um, man. But That's it seems like everybody's trying to be fire. famous. Is that, has that how it's always been? I mean, like, uh, yeah. maybe I just know a lot of musicians. Well, I, I, everybody I used to kick it with ended up, like, well, back in the day, ended up being famous. Like, I used to mm-hmm. kick it with Dodger, and then, like, Duckworth was here for a while. And, mm-hmm. you know, like, there were some other really big artists, like, that ended up blowing up, and, you know, like it was kind of strange because the scene wasn't very, very different in the sense that I think there was like actually like, you know, there was, you know, there's a culture, like one of this lacking culture in a lot of ways. But back then, mm-hmm. I feel like there was a, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't even say for more professional, but just like there was something about it. Like everyone, right. everyone was going mm-hmm. places. Everyone, like everyone I know got like signed mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck. And now I'm just like sitting here like, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd everybody go? You know? Yeah, but I, f- I feel them. like yeah. I feel like there's uh maybe 
a lack of structure in Portland yeah. and yeah. everybody's like doing that. their own thing rather than putting a big event together that like yeah. everybody has their own event which is yeah. which is cool in its own way. We don't get way, a lot of but... industry looks either. Like we're overlooked yeah. often. Yeah, that, that's yeah. another thing. Like uh, when artists come through, like big name artists that mm-hmm. a lot of times they'll skip over Portland or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, really? like a lot of people that mm-hmm. I work with and uh, me and my team, we like to yeah. bring like artists in and try to like show them like, you know, we can... You know, yeah, if you come here, yeah, you know, it's like we're cool. We're shit, cool in so, Portland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, man, that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be the the way that Portland kind of recovers is like bringing in, you know, mid tier or even bigger artists if you can mm-hmm. afford it or like you have the space for it. Like bringing these man. bigger artists in and be like, hey, Portland can get Portland can get live too. We got some shit going mm-hmm. on. We got some good artists out here. Just kind of re, oh, you know, revitalizing and kind of mm-hmm. re uh, branding of like the Portland scene and stuff, whether that's hip hop or like you know, punk music even, you know, just showing people that we do have something to offer. And if we do come here, we'll take care of you type shit. So, right. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. I think, um, I think we're still recovering from, from oh, what COVID did 100%. to yeah. the, to the scene and just to people in general, really, I think it yeah. changed a lot of people. So we're still trying to figure it out. We're still trying to figure out who we are as a scene, I think here in Portland. So, right. yeah. yeah. Um, are you from Portland originally? Uh, I, I'm from, well, I was born in Portland and then, uh, grew up in Vancouver and then, uh, kind of like went back and forth to the Bay and stuff. So you have family down there. Is that kind of Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Oakland and shit. Nice. Nice. uh, Getting cultured. (laughs) man. (laughs) Cause man, but yeah, I I mean, I guess I kind of grew up here cause I went back and forth growing up in Portland. So that's that's more than parties. (laughs) Born here, like being born here is kind of rare. Like Mm -hmm. I wasn't even born here. I grew up out here, but I was born in Texas and stuff. Yeah. Like people are like, yeah. you like even just growing up in the Northwest, like because there's so many transplants, it's like really rare to find somebody that actually has an yeah. idea, not right. only pre COVID, but even, you know, 10 years before that and stuff of what the music scene looked like and stuff. It's, it was right. very interesting. There's been a lot of different dynamic shifts uh, in the past like 10, 15 years. Like, yeah, you definitely. Know, so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm even considered a senior Portlander now because I've been here for eight years. Yeah. But so the fact <laughs> that you've been here for eight years. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> After meal. seven, it's like you're a Portlander. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even have like a Portlander. I don't even have a plaque yet, but what the fuck am I? like am I dead, like two times over. Like fucking twenty five years. Senior citizen. <laughs> yeah. So what what was the um music scene like in San Francisco in the Bay? What, what uh, I know it's very different over there, but what did you notice that's different between here and Portland? Uh, just like the support yeah. a lot of times and people, the connection of like the artists and like fans and mm-hmm. stuff. Like if, a, if the fans like really, they really enjoy you, like they really want to get to know you and like know your mm-hmm. music yeah. and like, just like the artists in general, like they want to like help, like not all artists, obviously. Yeah. Cause like some places will be like, you know, Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's mm-hmm. different tiers of different people, but like mm-hmm. yeah, every time I go, like they always show love over there and like, it's mm-hmm. always a connected community. So there's nice. like a lot of shows. Okay that are like mixed bills in the sense of like, you know, I mean, when I went down there last, I went to like Rolling Loud and then I, you know, stopped in at a few like local shows and stuff. And it seemed like there's a lot of bigger artists or artists that were buzzing that would go to like DIY events, like like house parties and like, you know, like yeah. you would run into like such and such, you know, like at yeah. like a, you know, a normal ass place, you know. And yeah, the big artists out there, they they definitely, they'd be outside and just like yeah. Doing, yeah. doing regular stuff and saw, like, it's crazy. Right, definitely at like a fucking like, orchestral like symphonic like it was like a jazz thing and it was like mm-hmm. I, I, I say that piece crazy yeah but. that's how, i mean that's how it is in la too yeah. you know and i think i think the same is true for in new york so i went to and a show Atlanta. there Atlanta i went too, to a yeah. show there yeah. that was it was kind of like indie music and then i saw another one of my favorite bands at the time there so yeah. and they're like oh we just came for the show because we, we like to show out for local people yeah. so <laughs> yeah. what if if you could this is a question that leon asked a lot but Okay. Um, <laughs> me? Yeah. Um, but if you could change something in the music scene to make oh, it better here in Portland, what would you what would you change? Just some as somebody who's been here for a, your whole life, really. So. I, I wouldn't necessarily change, but I would add more um, more like media and yeah. more um, coverage. Yeah, more media coverage and more. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess that just media so more coverage. Of us. What yeah. would you like? Like what more would you like? Is, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> Let's say two, three, four, five years. Like, where where would you hope for it to like kind of land? Like, would you, you know, what's the two, image for that? You know? Two to three, five years. I yeah. think, I mm-hmm. think, for then we'll have like a lot of heavy hitters and a lot yeah. of like a lot mm-hmm. of stuff going on because there's a, there's already a, a lot of going in motion right now that 
that's behind the scenes that people mm-hmm. probably don't know, but yep. yeah, there's that's a lot going on. on the scene. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's what we're here <laughs> for. Yeah. Make sure people um, get all the love they need. Yeah. So I was gonna ask another question, but before that, is there something that you could tell us that's going on behind the scenes? That's going on behind the <laughs> scenes. <laughs> um, tell us your uh, industry secrets. <laughs> I mean, I don't got no industry secrets, but I just know that like a lot of people like um, we're starting to figure out the booking and stuff and yeah. um like getting more features and uh the marketing and stuff like i was mm-hmm. talking about so like just everyone's like building the uh, like iq for like the music scene and stuff so yeah yeah i think you know although covid really sucked and ruined the scene it kind of um made the playing field more even because yeah. everybody kind of didn't know what to do so it's almost yeah. like we're starting everybody's starting fresh again even the people who have been here for a while yeah. So and I, I see the people out there like hustling hard and they you could tell that they know that, um, you know, in a couple of years, it's going to they're going to get somewhere if yep. they continue yeah. to do what they're doing. Yep. So, yeah, definitely just keep going at it, man. And, you know, a lot of people, I think, too, like I've been here many times, people worried about bread and stuff and like every single huge major artist. Not every single one. A lot right. of them will be like, yo, get the money, go out. To, you know, but a lot of them will be like, <laughs> yo, the money will come. You, you, you're mm-hmm. doing yeah. the right thing. The money will mm-hmm. chase you. The money will follow. Just to keep doing what you're doing, and then you know. It, yeah. and I've seen it happen way more. Like when I was when I've been the brokest I've ever been, I've been the most money hungry, which is very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. dynamic. But and it's just looking at it like a business. You know, yep. what I'm saying if if you look at it like a business, and also like you know putting your talents forth with it, then it will mm-hmm. all like work together. Yep. And yep. you know, what I'm saying yeah, yeah, it'll work out. Yeah, I think a lot of people want to. Um, you know, just make one song and get popular on like TikTok yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. You're very lucky if that happens, but a lot of people don't realize that it's a business and you have to be consistent. And sometimes it takes years to build any type of business. Yeah. Sometimes it usually takes like five years before you're like solid and yeah. Kato, and everything. Uh, so, freaking, uh, sorry, let me interrupt. But one of my favorite quotes by uh, Cato is uh, "Overnight success takes ten years." You know, because it's like Man. you know you're working, you're grinding, for, you're grinding for ten years straight, and then you mm-hmm. get a hit overnight. But it, mm-hmm. it wasn't like it just happened like yeah, that. It took yeah. a lot. Like it took, you've been, like I've been playing guitar since I was eight. But if I like mm-hmm. got a hit tomorrow, everyone would be like, oh, like one hit wonder, like overnight success. And like, nah, mm-hmm. bro, I've been <laughs> fucking grinding for that exact moment yeah. You know, yeah. for a very long time. So yeah. yeah. I feel like if you really have a hit, people are going to find out about it one way or another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like people really, it's I mean, undeniable. and if you have a crappy song, sometimes if you are a great marketer, you could get that to blow up too. But Ooh. if you have a hit and you don't really have that many followers, it'll get out and uh, people are going to yeah. hear it one way or another. All right. That's fair. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so what do you do? Do, um, do you make any other type of music or are you um, strictly a DJ? Do you like uh, yeah, play I'm, any instruments or anything like that? Yeah, or? I do. Um, shoot, I, I do hip uh, hip hop and R&B mm-hmm. music. Um, uh, I make my own beats. All right, okay, bet. Um, instruments I do like piano, drums, nice, and nice. Sit, bass, guitar. Oh nice. yeah. Um, man, good for you. Man. <laughs> do a bunch of shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Staying busy. Yeah. yeah. So, um, how is how is uh, being a DJ different than um being in a band or like a group or being just a hip hop artist? Uh, well, being how's a the DJ? lifestyle different? I guess. <laughs> Being a DJ, you're just controlling the vibe of the whole right. night. And then, you know what I'm saying? You're just trying to pick the right things. And then, like, mm-hmm. you know, depending yeah. on what kind of night it is, you're doing, you know, mm-hmm. whatever you're doing. And then, you know, with a band, obviously, you guys have, like I said, like, trying to do, like... <laughs> People kind of you know gotta, what you're going to do. Yeah, you yeah. know, you, you, they know what you're going to do. And you got, mm-hmm. like, a... You got your own responsibility for within the music, like, that you're mm-hmm. composing. Because, you know, you're going to do, like, one instrument. Someone else is going to mm-hmm. do one, so... You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're bringing everything all together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't want to keep you too long because I know that you have to. You have to yeah. do that tonight. You have to yeah, bring yeah. all the, the artists <laughs> yeah, together right now. Actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Very important uh, person here. Yeah. Yeah. Without you, we the artists wouldn't know what to do. I'm sure. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, so, do you have anything that you want to talk about before you? go do that or yeah and also shout um, out your social media yeah your and socials stuff. any projects um, that you're working on uh yeah well uh, i just dropped a project with uh my guy 94 prince uh oh, okay. it's on all platforms uh you can look it up under 94 prince or cold lower tgc um mm-hmm. uh, you know what i'm saying uh i got that going on i got some shows coming up so look out for that and, yeah yeah. Uh, yep. I don't got much. That's it. I got, you know what I'm saying? We're going to turn up BP. Yep. 
Uh, yep. I'm officially cold as my Instagram. Officially cold. Uh, I'm, I'm officially cold everywhere. I'm, I'm cold. Okay. Yep. What is it? I'm officially cold. Oh, okay. Officially. Okay. <laughs> Go give him Some a people, follow. They, they, I'm they like have warm right now. I'm <laughs> like, they, have, they have trouble Pretty spelling officially, and I have to like, man, <laughs> two, <laughs> L's, <laughs> two L's, two F's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it two L's? Two one L's? Crazy. I don't even know now. Y'all got me messed up. Yeah, yeah it's two L's. It's two, it's two F's and two L's. Yeah, sure. but it's people are there. always, you yeah. know, spelling their artist name differently. So you're like, oh, I know how to spell that, and they're like, yeah. spell it completely different. They're like, yeah. my name's Red something. And it's like R H E D D D E. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, well, thank you so much for talking with us. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll see you out there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this has been On the Scene with Carissa Dez. I'm pretty fucking Leon. And our special guest. Call Laura TGC. And right. uh, we're in Portland, Oregon at Late Lyrics at uh, Kelly's Olympian. So if you haven't Show been to Late Lyrics, uh, it happens every month right here at Kelly's in Portland. Right. So oh, yeah. check yeah. it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. Yes, Thank sir. you.